Hey man, what is going on? So I have a little bit of an update, but first let me get you started on what we're doing today. I have some seeds, I got some Bodhi seeds, I have some Gooey Breeders, but I also have these SFE Genetic. This gentleman and scholar hit me up on Instagram and asked me if I wanted to run some of his seeds as his tester, which I was ecstatic about because getting seeds is phenomenal. He has a really nice page as far as what he's doing and showing a lot of good strains. And for me personally, they're growing fantastically and I definitely couldn't be happier about it getting my water together, making sure all my labels and dates are all together, and then we're going to uh, sprout some of these in the traditional way, which is soak in water for 24 hours and then just move to a paper towel. So the ones I'm actually doing today are gonna be the Purple Julius, which is a snowmelt and tangy and cream cross, and then the Mac Queen, which is an orange apricot Mac and Ice Queen Sunday cross. They're all regular seeds, so they're male and female. So the last two that I'm putting in came from a trimming session I did for a friend when we had cut down his room. He had a couple dozen plants in there, and out of all of them, there were just two random seeds on this alien orangesicle. So I took them, I said I was gonna be sprouting seed soon, so he let me have them. And I assume there's some sort of feminized version, but I just wanted to see what would occur. But with that said, we're just gonna leave that for 24 hours. Now giving you an update on what actually is going on with me personally, giving you the update on what's happening behind the scenes i have been doing all of my footage up till now on a laptop asus computer it stopped being able to handle the adobe premiere it just seemed to not be able to do anything but not respond on a regular basis and it became kind of a problem it would take me like eight hours to do a five minute video just because of how much i would have to restart i would lose stuff all the time like i wouldn't even be able to save and so it became like a really big problem and so in march when my birthday rolled around my brother thought it would be a good idea to invest in having birthday gift would be pieces of the computer and so I got a hard drive stick of RAM the tower and then I had to buy like the CPU the GPU and some more RAM and stuff like that and so now I have a functioning tower computer that's pretty damn good and so now I'm editing on that I have a lot of videos that I have edited together already that I have a lot of backup footage and all that stuff and so far everything is doing fantastically and I'm very very happy that I decided to go this route just uh, know that I am working on doing more than I had been because now I'm not as frustrated with Adobe anymore because it functions correctly. Now with that said, I had gone on vacation, took some time off. So a lot of time was just over the last month or so, I just decided to kind of hiatus on my footage. So I apologize, but it was just one of those things that I took the opportunity. If I was already gone for two weeks, I might as well have made it four weeks. With that said, I have a lot of footage. I have a lot of videos edited. I just got to finish doing the voiceovers and that kind of stuff. Now, yeah, let's get back to it. So very traditional, just fill with water, leave for 24 hours, pour it into the paper towel. I put the paper towel in plastic bags to keep the moisture in um, because I don't like it drying out. I make sure that everything is labeled on the date that I started so I know how far behind some seeds are. I will move, once they pop tails, I will move them to the rock wool because I don't like them getting caught up into the paper towel because that could rip like some of the root out. And I've had that problem before and I don't really want to re encounter it but I let my rock will soak usually I will leave and go to work and come back and drain it so like hours I think it only needs like 15 20 minutes so it depends on whether I'm home for the day or I'm running to work I'm usually in between filling in and tinkering with stuff so if you're between hours at work and messing with things in your garage like I am then this is probably exactly the page for you but there's other ways to do it too so I also do a second wash with a really low EC. They don't need a lot of nutrients, but I want something in there for when they start striving for it. The seed itself is kind of like its own capsule that holds its own nutrients for like, I want to say the first week or two, but I want it to be readily available when they are ready to absorb outside nutrients. I want it to be there. I always shake the rock wool out a little bit to give it a little bit drier of a feel so that I can administer water faster because I feel like being completely saturated causes algae, but if I can continuously add water to it, it seems something better. I just tend to think the drying out and re-administering of water more often is more efficient with rock wool than being saturated for long periods of time. I always want to label everything and then I also want to keep everything organized. I got some of these trays. They're nice. Uh, I prefer the Grodan ones that actually fit these. They just are a better, sturdier product than these flimsy things. I put that on the bottom. 
I have just those under cabinet lighting things for now. I have some LEDs. I have that EB strip series that I just got back from my friend that I'm going to be putting back together and using that as like my cloning uh, table stuff. So that'll be on here eventually. And then I also need to get a tent on that kind of stuff. But we'll take a look at it about a week later. Actually, it's not a week. It's probably like four or five days. And so in that four or five days, we're seeing a lot of sprouting and growth, which is great. I would say that on some strains I had like a 90% sprout and some strains I had a 50% sprout. So it kind of up to what's going on with it. But overall, I was pretty happy about it. I'm not much of a sprouter. If you know me from past videos, I do a lot of cloning. So needless to say, this is pretty new to me. But um, I tried my best. I gave them spray bottle nutrients like just spray them on instead of saturating a rock wool because I didn't want to overwater it or anything like that. Uh, I'm just kind of figuring this out. I find cloning to be a little bit more desirable because I know what strains I'm getting and what phenotypes of those strains I'm getting. So this is kind of like a new adventure for me and you guys get to tag along. I'm getting, you know, the tap roots pretty early on with some strains. If you have any advice of things that I should do better, please leave it in the comments in the most condescending way possible so that I feel demeaned and demoralized that I have no talent and I'm a hack. But just remember, I'm kind of new to all the seed spreading stuff. You can see that the stuff that's been in there a while, these Northern Lights and Zookies are getting bigger. They got a couple more weeks to go before I can throw them into flower. But I need to get something in flower to uh, pay back this bill that I have. Also, you can take a look and kind of see the stems are purple. It was because I was running at like 72 to 74 degrees. I bumped it up to 80 and that immediately went away. I'm gonna throw those seeds in here to get them a little bit more light. And those other clones that I have right there just aren't doing super hot. I'm just leaving them be, but I'm gonna get this whole entire five by three filled out. And I'm excited to do that. And I'm excited to show you guys about it. I have some other stuff that I need to work with. And until then, grow it funky and keep it fresh.